As construction continues on Eau Claire Transit's new transfer center in downtown, parts of the original project may be changing. Those changes center on the proposed housing and parking originally scheduled to go on top of the site. WEAU's Maria Blau shares what's happening with the project. Danielle, the original design of the new transfer center focused on a private and public partnership. The city would pay for half of it and a private developer would pay for the other half. That breakdown is now changing. When the city of Eau Claire applied for a federal grant to help cover the cost of a new bus transfer center, the city said it would pay for the center plus one level of parking. At that time in 2017, a private developer agreed to pay for another level of parking and the concrete for the apartments to be built on and for construction of the actual apartments. While looking at federal tax credits for low-income housing, the developer realized it couldn't continue with the project. As the project progressed, they weren't able to uh, continue uh, economically with what they were proposing. And so they withdrew. They said, well, we would need X amount of money. Interim City Manager Dave Solberg says the city looked for a new developer. With the rising housing cost, the city and a second developer also could not come to an agreement. The city had already started building the transfer center. We had an MOU, a memorandum of understanding with the second developer signed, and that doesn't have the formality of a development agreement, but it was signed saying these are what we're looking for and they're waiting for final numbers on it. And when we got our Tiger grant, we had to have the transfer center open by September of 2022. If the city didn't reach that timeline, it would lose the $5 million Tiger grant from the U.S. DOT. Not coming to an agreement on housing could also mean the city loses those millions. Right now, the city is working with a third developer. This time to ink the deal, the city council voted to pay for more of the project. 50% of it was going to be assigned to the residential developer, 50% of it was assigned to the transfer center. But with the action that the council took today, the city um, to help encourage the residential housing will take on the financial responsibility of all of the parking and then the platform that the housing can go on from there. Changing that breakdown means the city is expected to pay $3.2 million more. The developer is also asking for $5 million in assistance to make the housing project economically feasible. The city has voted to build the additional parking and the platform for the housing. The exact details with the developer still need to be worked out before a deal is signed. In the newsroom, Maria Blau, WEAU 13 News.